Hi, this is a minute of overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about how to increase your Google Play App Store downloads. Okay, so today I kind of want to go through some of our strategies on keyword uh, optimization for Google Play. Now there's a lot of advice out there on optimizing uh, your iTunes page or your iPhone apps. Uh, and there's lots of really good tools out there. We use Sensor Tower a lot. But for Google Play, uh, Sensor Tower doesn't work that great for us, so we try other things. So, uh, And if you just release an, a Google Play app, you, you may be experiencing this, oh my god, it's not working kind of feeling. I, yeah, and I know, I know the feeling. So I kind of want to show you, you know, the kind of things that we do. So let me show you EarSpy here, which is um, our Google Play page for EarSpy. Uh, and you can see here, like on a consistent basis, um, I have some delays today, but, uh, you know, we see we get around uh, between four and 5,000 uh, unique downloads a day, uh, daily installs. Uh, so, you know, it, it does really well and it brings in a lot of money. Uh, if I show you, uh, but, it, but it, it wasn't always that way. If I show you like the all-time growth here of this curve, you can see that we, you know, we started off kind of small here when we first started out a couple years ago. We had like a, you know, what's new and noteworthy kind of bump. And then it just sort of gradually grew over time. And, you know, it's introducing new things. We see some spikes here where it gets, you know, mentioned in like Gizmodo or some other blogs. And, uh, and we see kind of how it grows. So that's the idea. We we want to have more apps like this where we have a lot of daily downloads. We have a lot of people installing it, a lot of people clicking on ads uh, or, or purchasing or upgrading to a, a bigger version. So let me compare that, uh, contrast this with one we just released a few weeks ago, which is Algebra Study Cards. Now, Algebra Study Cards, you see here we got a few downloads, 65 downloads. That was a day where I was running Facebook ads. You know, it, so it didn't really, compared to how much money we spent, it was not a lot of downloads. And then we're lucky with this one to, we're lucky if we get 10 downloads a day, right? So it's, and this is typical of a lot of apps on Google Play, at least a lot of our apps. It's, you put it out there and you have to try to get those keywords up. And, you know, and keywords are the one way to improve the, uh, the app ranking. I mean, you could do ads like this, but this costs... I think we spent about 40 pounds and we got hardly any return on it. I mean, ads used to be so much easier with Facebook and, and Twitter and, and AdMob, but now it's, it's, it's a much lower return on the investment. So, uh, an idea, so this is to, to give you an idea, when somebody goes into Google Play, it's those organic searches, those organic searches are the things that you want to really uh, key for. So like, for example, if somebody goes into Google Play and they type in spy, you know, Ear Spy comes up first. If they type a, you know, eavesdrop, you know, it comes up first. So you have to think about how you want people to actually find it. Now we have Mandarin Bubble Bath, which is a, our learning, our Mandarin learning game, one of our Mandarin learning games. So w one of the keywords that we try to search for for well is uh, learn Mandarin. So ideally, when I type in learn Mandarin, you know, Mandarin Bubble Bath would, you know, come up near the top. <laughs> but it doesn't so you see here we've got you know Mandarin learn Mandarin Chinese we got all of these and we go way further back down and we can see uh, way down Mandarin bubble bath way down here near near the bottom so it's a uh, you know it's it's not doing well and we need to kind of play with that and get that up if we type something that's a bit less popular like learn Swahili then you can see our app comes up you know, relatively high, but you know, ideally we like the first one. So, how do you get higher search rankings for those keywords? And to, to be honest with you, since it's, since Google is pretty much closed door, so is iTunes. A lot of the th people have theories. It's almost borders on superstition because you know nobody really knows for sure. So we all try different things, right? And it has to do with the the, the name. You have a, the the right keywords in your name. So, for example. This app is actually called Swahili Bubble Bath, but for Google Play, we change it to Learn Swahili Bubble Bath in order to try to increase those keywords and get that up. So one of the tools that we use to, to measure these changes that we make, and it's, it's always tweaking. That's the nice thing about Google Play is you can change things all the time. You don't have to keep uploading a build every time the same way you do with iTunes. With Google Play, mess around with the description, you know, do different things. I mean, Google Play, the keywords are, are, are driven from the title, uh, the subtitle, and the description. 
So let's take you into App Annie. App Annie is for Google Play. We use App Annie all the time. Sensor Tower is good for iTunes. However, I think Sensor Tower, when it comes to Google Play, it's, it, it doesn't quite work well for me. So we do things like this. Uh, if you go into App Annie and set up an App Annie account or don't, you can go and search on any app and go down to this section here called Keywords and ASO. And what this will do is it'll give you a list of all the keywords or a lot of keywords that you're ranking for uh, and uh, sort of list them here in a graph. So you can see here, AirSpy is working for spy, it's working for eavesdrop, it's working for the word hearing, which is fantastic. That's kind of new. Uh, so that kind of drips a little bit. And you can see like a history of this. Now, if I show you, you know, algebra, for example, we can see that for algebra study cards, which is our, our new one, and you know I put in algebra it's actually not ranking that well it started off at you know coming in at 235 now it's kind of growing right now it's uh, it shows up this you know number 72 if you type in algebra uh, if you type in algebra game it comes in a little bit better it comes in at you know 13 so what we do is we keep making changes and checking this every few days and and trying to see where it is now App Annie, this service on App Annie is completely free, which is probably the best feature of App Annie. Uh, Sensor Tower costs $80 for, I think, usually it's around three apps. They actually, it's based on the tracking of the keywords, but I, I find it to be a bit overpriced. However, it's worth it if you, if you can make that work. And down here on App Annie, you could type in any, uh, any keywords that you want. So I say want a math game. You know, if somebody's searching on math game, oh, it's already been added, but you can see, um, Algebra game. Uh, let's see, um, uh, multiplication. So you can see for multiplication, it's out. It's not even in the top 250. But this is the kind of thing that you should do. That the you release your app to Google Play. Sometimes we've actually played around with actually changing the title of the executable to see if that made any any impact. We did that with Chinese Heroes. We changed called it. Uh, Chinese Mandarin Alpha Team, just so we get the words Chinese Mandarin in there. So, um, and the, the nice thing about this is you can search on any other app. So here we go. Uh, I already did a search on Dragon Box, which is one of the top algebra apps out there. And you can see what you know how they rank for things. So, uh, and they just throw, you know they automatically put some stuff in here. Dragon Box, Algebraic. Uh, they, they're ranked at number four at the moment, and it changes on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's a nice thing to see the history over time. So let's say I change the keyword. I change the description a little bit on Tuesday. I could check it on Wednesday and see if it's actually gone up any. So and also I could do things like adding backlinks that go to the Google Play page. I could add uh, make you know try to get people to add more reviews and see if that's had an effect. And it really is a case of of making a change, testing that change, and uh, and seeing how how well it works. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. It's longer than a minute as always, uh, but uh, you know I hope this has been helpful. One of the most discouraging things about releasing an app is not seeing it take off. And if I show you, you know, when I showed you that ear spy graph, at first it was that way for me too. I mean, it was, you know, it really was a slow burner, but it's, you know, building and building and building and trying to get those rankings up. It is possible. So uh, that's it for this week. Now, if you're watching this on the iTunes podcast, please leave a review. I'd love to know what you think. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please leave a comment uh, or on Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, good luck with your apps on Google Play and I'll talk to you next week.